Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ravi, Professor of Mechanical Engineering. Uh, Today our topic is isometric view of a cylinder of a dimensions uh, dia 60 mm and height uh, 90 mm. So, this you are supposed to draw axis keeping axis vertical and axis horizontal. And uh, in this particular case, you need not to go for orthographic projection. Straight away you can proceed to isometric uh, view and in that uh, first case is uh, axis vertical and in order to draw the optical axis vertical the top view of this cylinder is uh, circle as you know very well circle in isometric view is an ellipse. The top view of the circle ellipse you have to draw in such a way that uh, that is in top view. Let us draw a horizontal line and to the right it is at an angle 30 degrees and to the left also 30 degrees and the diameter is given as 60 mm. So, the square it, it is inscribed the circle in a square and the dimensions will be you know it is also 60. The dimensions of the square will be 60 by 60 and uh, this is uh, the end of a shorter diagonal you have a longer diagonal and shorter diagonal. So, end one is uh, your one center the other is uh, second center join one with the midpoint of opposite sides. Similarly, join two with the midpoints of opposite side. So, you are going to get uh, two more centers that is uh, three and four. So, one I center join these two points with a circular arc and two I center join these two points with a circular arc, three I center this is small radius let us join these two and similarly four I center join these two. This is the bottom of the cylinder. Now, let us the height is given 90 mm. So, from each corner of the parallelogram erect a height of uh, 90 mm. I have drawn this 90 mm let us mark it the point at a distance 90 mm from this point and similarly it is 90 mm from this it is probably somewhere here and from this it is 90 it comes here and of course 90 mm from this point. You can call this is 1 to 1 to 3 4 or the corners and uh, join all this you know you are going to have a parallelogram in that that is your top end of the cylinder the same procedure you can adapt join the shorter diagonal with the midpoints of the opposite side and uh, this as with the opposite side and you are going to get uh, this is your center 1 2 3 and 4 one as center join these two points and two as center join these two points three as center join these two points four as center join two points after completing the top and uh, bottom view of the cylinder let us draw a common tangent to the bottom and top ellipse and after completing this as you know that the bottom inside the semicircular arc is not visible usually in isometric view we do not represent the hidden edges you can erase it you can erase it and uh, now the view is uh, completed you can see that it is this you can draw with HB pencil highlight the things and this is the required view keeping that axis is vertical similarly you can go for axis you can keep in horizontal and in that case you have to consider the front view. The front view let us take this is your vertical lines remains vertical and horizontal will be inclined at an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal and let us construct the ellipse sorry construct the parallelogram with the sides and uh, this is your shorter diagonal 
and join this orthodiagonal with the opposite side uh, midpoints. Similarly, here you got the four centers. Let us mark this is one, two, three, and four. One eye center join these two. The same procedure what you adapted. Two eye center join these two, and three eye center join these two. Four eye center join these two. You got the one end. Similarly, you erect a line at an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal and uh, all the corners you just draw the parallelogram parallel to it at a distance 90 mm. The distance is given 90 mm. You can see that it is uh, this is 90 mm and this comes here somewhere here 90 and this is 90 and finally, somewhere here you have 90. So, join all this you have a parallelogram and uh, the join the midpoints similarly join the midpoints with this and you got four centers draw the uh, circular arc joining these two with the same radius again this and this I did not mark the centers it is uh, in the similar way and draw a common tangent and uh, this is what is your required uh, cylinder in uh, x keeping axis horizontal. And in this, this uh, semicircular arc is not visible, you can just avoid this and uh, this gives you I hope you have understood how to draw the isometric view of a cylinder keeping axis vertical and keeping axis horizontal. Thank you.